Hello everybody, my name is Jad, welcome to another MLB 9 Innings 24 video, and today's video, I apologize that we're running so late, yesterday I was feeling so under the weather, so I wanted to apologize in advance for when I put this video up, that I'm feeling so under the weather, so I made a, I made a YouTube post about it, just in case anybody didn't see it, just because like after I woke up I was like, okay, maybe I should like tell people, because I just realized it is Monday, and I'm like still asleep, and it is like 11pm, so... Uh, I just wanted to put that up there, and then at that point, like, I recorded it, and then I didn't want to, like, upload it so late. I wanted to, like, make it, like, a normal human being time, so, anyway, let's get into the video for today. So, if anybody really liked the club power ranking tournament, don't worry, we've got the normal power ranking tournament right on the heels. Like, just in case you wanted to fulfill your gambling addiction and your pick'em addiction, don't worry, we've got just the thing for you. Um, I can't believe they did the power ranking tournament so close to the club power ranking tournament. It was literally like I, I woke up and it, it was like already um, like pick up time. I was like, really already? I thought they were just. I thought someone was just kidding that they were like, oh yeah, I'll you know I, I'm, I'm going to vote for you in the next power ranking tournament. And then I look and like it's like today. I was like, no way. I can't believe this. Um, let's see what we got to do today. So I do have the gold box from the club. Uh, whatchamacallit, the um, the club power ranking tournament. So we're going to hopefully get something good from that. I mean, all I think all the rewards are good from it. Honestly, I think all of them are good for my account. I think that the worst item being essentially five premium skill change tickets, I think is probably going to be pretty good for my account. Um, let me show you guys what the um, the things are real quickly if before we get any further. So we've got ourselves our club random box gold. Now, I would like again, I, like I said before the club power ranking tournament began, I wish they just gave us guaranteed rewards. I wish they didn't just mess around and give us, like, random rewards. But So, 10% chance for a legendary skill change ticket, 15% for a diamond trainer recruit ticket. So, those are two things we're not getting right off the bat. So, we're either going to get three blues or we're going to get five PSETs, which I think, honestly, I think those are three. I think those are four or five. I can't count. There are four pretty good rewards right there. No matter what we get, I'm going to be happy. But, honestly, I would prefer one of the rarer things. But, then again, I don't think we're ever getting those. But, uh, we'll open those up in a second. And then we got some obviously some trainers to open. We've got a sig pack to open as well, and then uh, we'll see how it, it all works out. Now I did actually get myself some greens from the club uh, box this week, so which is good. So that means that we are going to actually be ha we have seven greens to use right now as it is, unless we get one more somehow throughout the course of this video, which I don't think we will personally. But we have seven greens to use on Paxton, so hopefully today is finally the day that we can land at least a second skill on him and then we'll just be waiting on blues essentially for the rest of the week but we'll see what we can do you know obviously we we had our troubles with j-hap i think it took like i want to say 10 plus greens to get a to get skills on him and then even after all that it's still useless um everyone's in my club is talking to me about how fireballer is really only good for a finesse which i'm not saying they're wrong but i i just think it's stupid that certain skills don't work with other certain skill sets i think that's really poor game design that there's only like there's only like five skill sets that really work in this game and like they're exceptionally small and then like on to, maybe that's just the just how powerful offenses are at this point but I, I think what we really need to do is finish up paxton and then we really need to go balls to the wall on our offense and we really need to beef up some of our batters so that way our batters can actually start doing some of this damage to other pitchers because other pitchers are really kind of you know hamstringing me right now as it is i'm kind of living on boss nerf as it is right now unfortunately in the club power ranking tournament, like, I, I even said this in the last video, the fact that boss pitchers, when I nerfed boss, were shutting me down is a problem. And I think that really kind of has to do with not only the fact that they're good, they're good, that they have other good skills and they're high skilled batters, which are like the triple threes and above, and they have good diamond trainers. I think that's really what it boils down to at that point. Speaking of skill levels, I wanted to take a moment to complain, because that's all I do. I'm a constant Debbie Downer on this channel, and I apologize, because I don't necessarily mean to always complain about things, you know. I do, uh, this may be hard to believe, but I'm much more of a positive person. I really just use negativity as, like, sarcasm, as, as coping mechanisms, you know, for just, you know, trying to laugh at things. But I wanted to talk to you guys about the new skill change ticket package they just came out with, um... It sounded really good off the bat. Now, originally, I read it wrong, and that's why probably why it sounded so good to me off the bat. Uh, so let me go pull it up here real quickly. I believe this is the last combo of this run of packs here. Of course, I get the gold. That's actually kind of what I needed. I have so many diamonds in here. 
let me lock the Bob Gibson and then we will go and is he here no he's over here no where is he where are you at where are you at my guy I don't know which side it's on. It's probably on the uh, far left side, and I've probably just been a fool here. It is on the far left side. So, originally I read this wrong. So, it includes an ultimate skill change ticket that guarantees at least one gold grade skill and a total skill level of five or higher. So, it's essentially a premium skill change ticket that when you roll the numbers, I believe that what it gives you is, is it gives you skills that total five or higher. So, we're talking like a 2 2 1 set. Or a 3 1 1 set guaranteed, which I'm not gonna lie to you guys, that's kind of atrocious in my opinion. Um, truthfully, that's atrocious. Essentially, what it is is it prevents you from getting a triple one set and it prevents you from getting a 2 1 1 set, and then that's it. Like, that's all you that's all you get. It's essentially just cutting off like four outcomes out of the entire package, which I mean, the fact of the matter is, is that we are we're looking right now for essentially. 3-3-2 three, three, sets and above at this point. We're looking for 3-3-2 three, three, sets. Would I be able to use a 3-2-2 two, two set? I don't think I'll even be able to use... Yeah, I'll be able to use a 3-2-2 two, two set. Although, I already have 3-2-2 three, two, two sets. So, like, I'm I'm looking for upgrades on 3-2-2 three, two, two sets. So, I'm looking for 3-3-2 three, three, two sets and above, essentially, at this point. So, I originally read it wrong. I thought it meant, like, the bottom skill would be 5 or higher, which I was thinking to myself, like, oh, wow, that sounds really good. Like, that's that's crazy. You're gonna be able to just get yourself a guaranteed like three three two set or a three 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 set. Like that's, that's pretty good, man. That's that sounds awesome. And then I reread it and and then I read it like as in like the skill numbers will be five, so like two two one or better essentially. It's essentially just a guarantee that two of the skills on your PSCT are gonna be two or higher. That's all it is. That's that's basically all it is. Um, that two of the skills are gonna be two or higher. That's basically it. And I think that's kind of lame. I think that's kind of lame. Like. I, I guess so, yeah. If it's the same price as a normal PSCT, then I guess it's not really a problem because it's essentially just an upgrade. But it's not much of an upgrade is the point I'm trying to make. The, the upgrade is is minuscule at best. You know what I mean? It's there. I think it could definitely be better, honestly. I just think that it's just kind of lackluster. I don't know. Not, not Like I said, not to be a Debbie Downer, I mean... Anything improved is better, but I'm not. We're never gonna get them for free, so like that doesn't really matter. I don't know. I swapped clubs uh, inside of our system, so I had to like clear all the notifications. You know, I was only in. I was in the top club for the the power ranking tournament, but then I, I dropped back down to uh, provide a little support for the one of our lower clubs. All right, let's see what I got here combine all of our dudes away but like i said you know oh well it, it's not really something to really complain about it's more or less just me being like ah this could definitely be better eh you know i'm still probably not buying them at this point just because the odds are just disgusting i get enough free pscts as it is i don't want to spend 250 dollars to get disappointed and then basically get myself like no skill sets essentially bob bob boon or brett boon i'm sorry not bob boon bob boon's his dad I believe I have a diamond of uh, Brett Boone already, so I believe that we will be upgrading him at least, which is good. Come on, our silvers. There we go. But like I said, it's all just water under the bridge. Um, if you're buying PSCTs, I guess it's good for you because it no longer gives you like a like a dead minimum skill roll. Like getting getting triple ones with PSCTs are essentially like. A kick in the nuts, but I believe it was a lot worse in my opinion with the fact that, like, you could basically get a legend skill and then not use it essentially because the numbers are too low. But that has nothing to do with the fact that, like, that it's a triple one set, it's more like the fact that it's a three, two, one set and, like, you're looking for higher or something that's going to compete at the top level. I feel like that's the problem with PSCTs, you know what I mean? Like, the problem with PSCTs is not necessarily the, the triple ones, like, that's. That is an issue, don't get me wrong. It's really funny. Like, I make fun of it whenever I get triple ones, but it's more or less not usually with a legend skill set. Like, the odds of you getting a, a triple one set on legend skill are very low as it is. That is that is by design a very low percentage outcome. But like I said, oh well, not really a complaint. 
Anyway, I, I'm probably not buying them. But if you guys really think that you know they're good value, you know, have at it. But me personally, I'm not putting that. Who the heck is that? Who is who is is that? Tramel? Who? What? That's a Yankee? Wait, hold on a second. What? Blood thinks he's on the team? No way. Hold on a second. What do you mean? Stop. Was that? What? Who? I don't. I don't remember you, bro. Who? Who is this? Left field. Ten games. What? Did he get traded? Is like? Is he like a minors deal or something? Hold on a second. I don't believe you. I need to go. Where's my BB ref page? I don't. Hold on a second. I've. I know I'm stupid, and I, I know I forget things, but there is there is no way that this dude, like, Blood thinks he's on the team. I don't know who this guy is. He played five games for the Dodgers, and he played five games for the Yankees, and he batted a 1,000 as a Yankee, going one for one in five games with two plate appearances, a walk, and a hit. When did he play? What game did he come in? It must have... It must have been some kind of, like, late game, pinch run, like, late innings. There is no way. Hold on a second. Game logs. I need to see this information. When did he play for us? April 28th, May 3rd. When did he get his hit? He went one for one on April 27th in a 15-3 game against the Brewers. That might be why I don't remember him, because I turned that game off after we were already up by, like, 10. Because, like, there's nothing fun about being up by 10. I mean, yeah, it's fun to, like, beat somebody into oblivion when you put up 30 runs against them in two games. But it's like, there's, like, you, you, all the people that you want to see are already out of the game at that point. Like, what are you rooting for at that point? Are you rooting for the team to score 20 at that point? Like... It just, it's not fun. Like, the, the least fun moments of a baseball s situation is when you're up by 10 or you're down by 10. Because you know the game's over. In both directions, you know the game's over. So, I don't know. Maybe I'm a bad fan, but I don't remember this guy because I think he was essentially a bench player for us. And they were just like, alright, go get in there. Good luck, son. Um, don't even remember him at all, honestly. That's probably why he, he played in... He got a hit in the game where we were up by 12 by the time he came into the game. No wonders. I was just like, who? Huh? I I don't remember him. So we either sent him down or we DFA'd him. I don't actually remember. But it says he's still on our team. So I would imagine he's in our minor system at this point. We, the Dodgers? Like, how did they get from the Dodgers to us? Maybe they DFA'd him and, and we picked him up. Maybe the... Did we trade for a PTBNL? Was that like the Phil Bickford trade maybe? Or was maybe he was a PTBNL in like a... In like the... Uh... Yeah, maybe in the in the Phil Bickford trade, maybe he was a PTBNL. I have no idea. Losing my mind trying to figure this stuff out, man. Ooh, that's a good one. Maybe we'll get a good diamond off this one. I said, hoping. No. I don't think any of the diamonds, diamonds we could have gotten from it were good, but oh well. All right, I want to save some silvers for opening up the ults. Ooh, I'll take the Andrew. That's a sick prime. I would love the Andrew Miller prime, please. Oh, come on, man. I love that Andrew Miller prime. That Andrew Miller prime is so dope. All right, uh, 18 ultimate player packs. How many golds are we going to get? Well, at least one diamond, which is a good start. Two diamonds, nice. Thank you. I'll have another. Take a sip of water. Nice. Okay, three diamonds. Pretty good. Not like we needed more diamonds. We really needed the golds. And we really need the silvers. Okay, diamond pack. Come on, baby. I don't really have, in my opinion, I don't really have a, a use for that legend we pulled last episode. I don't know what to do with him yet. Uh, I don't think he's going into my lineup. But maybe if I ever get frustrated with Tino... Maybe we'll throw him in, but I really don't think that he's going to be in there anytime soon. Because like I said when I pulled him, I really like Tino's batting stats right now as it is, so I don't really think that I'm a fan of needing a legend first baseman, but maybe down the line that will change. 
maybe like I think Tino does okay in ranked as it is right now as well as I think he also does okay in club so I don't really think we're using him at this point okay let's pull a Yankee from this one shall we it's not a diamond it's a gold okay it's a gold now I would love to see um what would I love to see from this pack hmm it's not really a, uh, maybe like a if John Lewisica is still in the game, I don't really know, but maybe like a Nestor Sig, that'd be pretty cool to see. Cool. <laughs> oh my god, it's another Yankee Sig. What do you mean it's another Yankee Sig? <laughs> all we do is pull Yankee Sigs, man. That's all we do. We've we've pulled every Yankee closer sig in the game. Now, what are his what are his stats like? 65 base? That's not really that great. In Yankee Land, that's not really that great. So We'll save him for a future Team Sig combo. I can't believe I pulled another Team Sig. Oh my god, what do you mean? How does this keep happening? This is like the second Team Sig in, what, three Sig packs? In three random Sig packs, by the way. Oh my goodness, what is happening? It's been a while, man. It's been a while since we've seen a, a couple Team Sigs, and then now we're, we're back on the horse again. It took a little while. Took a little while to marinate, but now we're, we're finally back. We're back to pulling Rizzo's. We're back to pulling Tino's. We're back to pulling... I don't know who else did we pull from a, from a random Sig pack. I don't know, man. Mariano. Absolutely craziness. It's a useless Sig. Don't get me wrong. It, it will be definitely be used in a future club craft, but... Really cool to see a Sig pull at the Team Sig. That's unbelievable, man. My goodness. Because, like I said, when I when I pulled Mariano, 65 base is just a non-starter in a Yankee bullpen, unfortunately. It's just not good enough. There are too many good bullpen cards in a Yankees uh, bullpen for 65 to be useful. Uh, we really do have an embarrassment of riches. It, it really is hilarious how good the, the base stats are in this bullpen. I think, like, my worst is Britain with a, a 65 base. So, I don't think me pulling another 65 is, is, is um, going to do the job. But, you know, maybe we'll think about it. At that point, we're more we're more probably pulling out Britain than pulling out someone for Clay Holmes, unfortunately. That's just it's just the way it works. Oh, we got a Michael Tompkin card. Michael Tompkin should have like a sixty seven base card right now. Don't don't at me. Michael Tompkin should have a sixty seven base card right now. He has been unbelievable as a Yankee. He's down to like a two ERA. Overall, he's a 2.45 ERA. Like he has been unbelievable. 65 base. I think that's shortchanging him. Honestly, he's he has as a Yankee. Oh, hold on, I want to pull up his BB Ref page as well. As a Yankee, he had one bad start, which was when he basically took a red eye to get here, and then now he has just been unbelievable. Like one of our best pitchers. I don't know what. I I don't know what. Uh, what's his face has um. Uh, hold on. Oh, I don't know what Matt Blake has done to him, but Matt, but he has been a godsend for this bullpen. All right, as a Yankee, in 27 games, Michael Tonkin has, in 36 and two-thirds inning, has a 147 ERA with 37 strikeouts, and he has a whip of .9. Like, yes, his FIP is 3, but that's what you get when you have a ground ball pitcher like Michael Tonkin is. He hasn't really necessarily been a strikeout pitcher, but he's been striking out people. I I, I really don't I don't get it. Like it's kind of been crazy. Like he he hasn't really been a strikeout pitcher, but for some reason we had him start throwing his four seam again, and he's just been on another level. And I don't know how to explain it. He has just been truly a godsend for this team. Talk about the rest of these packs real quick. Jake Diekman. Yeah, I don't know what kind of secret sauce Matt Blake is cooking up, but he has turned Luke Weaver and Michael Tonkin into very, very quality relievers. And just out of nowhere. I, I wish you could do that with more people. It seems like there's always one or two people every year that, you know, come through the Matt Blake cheating lab and turn into amazing relievers, but sure. Yankee legend Nathan Evaldi. Well, Patrick Sandoval. All right, Michael Tonkin, you because you've done so well for us this year as Yankee fans, you can you can hang out for another week. We won't get rid of you just yet. 
Um, hmm. I guess it's the other way around. I thought I had a, a diamond one. Maybe maybe the diamond one's in Mentor right now. Maybe that's the case. Hold on a second. Let me check my Mentor. I actually don't know. Ah, uh, you know what? It's not going to matter. We'll just, we'll just upgrade the one we have now. It's not a big deal. We'll get that good roster space. But this is probably like my fourth or fifth Brett Boone at this point. There we go. Upgrade him. Alright, let's go open up our, our random boxes that I've teased since the beginning of the video. Actually, first off, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. We'll open up our club random box. Let's see. I'm expecting PSETs. Well, that's mainly due to the fact that it's a 50% chance. But let's see if we get ourselves something nice. Yeah, 5 PSETs. That's okay. We can use those. That's not a big deal. 20 PSETs for this video. I'm going to get some good mileage out of that one. So let's go use our PSETs, shall we? And I believe we're using them on Severino to try to see if we can get ourselves a god tier skill set on him. What's our mileage bar looking like? Still looking like we're in good shape. I still plan to buy the mileage, so I, I didn't want to go over on the mileage bar because I was worried about like like overrunning it and resetting it because I did want to get the um pay the fifty dollars for the mileage bar because I think that's that's absolutely one of the few things in this game that is genuinely worth the money. Three, two, and one? I don't need those new skill change tickets. I'm I can already pull skills that's better than three, two, one. I don't need those new skill change tickets. Oh, three, two, one? Huh? Already better than five. Already better than five. Like, let's see. Let's play a game and let's see how many skill sets we get that are actually worse than that. Okay, triple one. Okay, that would have been one of them. Okay. Fine. Okay, that that's that's not not worse. So we're at one. Two. Still two. I don't get the 600, then I'm gonna go grab the in my inbox. Hmm, two, three, two. It's not better than what, it's not better than what I have now. Because that would be bottom skill level four. It's not it's not better than what I have now. It's a good set, don't get me wrong, but it's just not better than what I have now. Okay, last one, and we're going to go grab the inbox ones, and then, oh, Workhorse. Ah, yeah, just not better than what I have now, unfortunately. It is not an upgrade. Right, let's go use our legendary skill change ticket. On our boy, Luis Severino. Come on, baby. Ah. Ooh, that's garbage. I'm not counting that one just due to the fact that that wouldn't have mattered anyway. That because you're gonna get triple ones on that either way. The new skill changes are not helping that. Three one three, bottom skill level four. Looking for better than that. Although we are getting very good legend rolls though. We are getting close legend rolls that actually are useful skills and are actually high numbers, which is rather good to see. Like compared to what we've done in the past, that's very good to see. Two one one. Okay, that's three. Ooh, triple threes. Nice. That's what we're looking for. Beautiful. 2-2-1 two, two, is not better, so we're at three right now. Mm, pitches Insight. Not having it. People seem to like Pitches Insight. I'm not really a fan of it, personally, myself, because while, yes, it does have a chance to reduce your opponent's skill levels, it doesn't really seem to, like... If, if you hit the wrong one, it's kind of rough. And on top of that, you're not really getting the stat reduction that Control Master and uh, Fireballer are giving. I'm just not really that much of a fan of it, personally. Well, that's a shame. Nothing doing for the 20 skill changes this week. But we had some we had some good chances. But it's just uh, unfortunate that we didn't get the right rolls on the numbers. But that's okay. Oops. All right. Seven greens. There's a gold. Okay, I'll take mess. I will I will take mess. I don't Do I take mess or do I roll for Dom or Finn first and then go? I think I roll for Dom or Finn first. 
think I roll for Dom or Finn first, and then I worry about the third one because I need Dom or Finn. Now, I could be like completely out of my mind right now and be wasting greens, but in my opinion, I think that's the more prudent way to do things. I'd rather have two shots at let Finn or Dom. And one left. Ugly closer, yeah, of course. It's, yes, mess is a good set, but I don't feel comfortable having, like, touch mess. I don't feel comfortable having, like, boss mess. I would really like to have Finn or Dom. Yeah, that's what I thought, Will Hito. You get out of here with your with your game logic and you think you could beat me out of here. No. Stay away, bro. No, I'm just kidding. We got him. Okay, use my ultimate trainer recruit ticket. Useless. That's a that's that's getting released. Oh, whoo! Good lord. Four speed, six fielding. Awful. Oh yeah. All right, let's go open up. I got two premiums and then nine golds. Wow. Both of them are specials. What? What do you mean? I, I had space for nine. What? Huh. All right. Well, let's just get, let's just drop a couple real quickly. That one is an easy. That was an easy drop. That was an easy drop. That's good enough for now. All right, nine golds. Please give me overwhelming, overwhelming pressure. Please. Guess hit or gold is the only one we get. It's not really that great in my opinion as well. Okay, well, unfortunate, but that's going to be it for me for today, you guys. Thank you guys for commenting out with me. Again, I apologize that this video is so late. Um... Should be back again on Monday unless I basically die again. But anyway, with that being said, thank you guys for coming and hanging out. Good luck with your packs, your pulls, your combo. If you guys are in the Power Wrecking Tournament, I wish you guys good luck. And hopefully you guys, when I pick you for pick'em, you don't throw the game. Anyway, with that being said, see you on next Monday. Have a good night and peace.